Hello and welcome back to the channel and today it's a ground hopping adventure. We have come to Salisbury as they host Bratnell Town in a, in a Southern League Premier South League fixture. Gemma, it's another ground ticking off. Are you looking forward to this one? Yeah, it'd be good to see what it's like and how they play Salisbury. Um, so a few things a uh, few um, things to go through before the game. Um, Steve Claridge, ex-Pompey manager, is the, the gaffer of the hosts. Um, so I didn't realise that. So I'm looking forward to seeing him on the touchline for the host today. But it's been a mixed bag of a week um, for the visitors Bracknell. Um, they lost one of their best players in Seb Bowman. He was at the club for six years and he has joined Dorking Wanderers. Um, we're, we're both agreed, Gemma, Seb was a great player, but he'd be a great signing for Dorking Wanderers, wouldn't he? I mean... Yeah, definitely. Uh, they'd be great to have him with the skills and talent he's got. Yeah, in the National League, they play away at Scunthorpe today. But Bracknell have also since then announced their new joint managers, Cole Withers and Jamie McClurg from Binfield. Um, two's better than one they sometimes say, so they've got two first team managers there and they've got a new backroom team as well. Um, Binfield have done a great job of Binfield, over, not just this season so far, but also last season they sort of weren't too far off the playoffs, so that's not a bad managerial appointment I feel for Bracknell. Um, but in terms of the last five games, um, Bracknell have won four in the last five, including that FA Cup win on Tuesday against Chesham 3-0. Um, but the hosts, Salisbury, have lost their previous two. So with that in mind, Gemma, um, and it being ninth versus 10th, so it's going to be a very tight clash today. What is your score prediction? My score prediction is 2-1 to Salisbury today. Well, we're going completely opposite. I'm saying 3-1 Bracknell. Um, they're in good form. I'm sure they'll be buzzing from that win. I mean, maybe a bit tougher because they've got to get used to their new managers now, but... But I think they're going to have a lot of firepower to stay at Bracknell. So I'm going for a 3-1 Bracknell win. So it'd be great if you could click like down below. It helps with the algorithm and it helps the channel massively. Gemma, should we target what? 30 likes again in this video? 30 likes. Yeah, let's, let's smash it. Come on. And uh, if you want to come and watch these non-league videos, and don't forget to hit subscribe down below and ring that notification bell to be notified when the latest vlogs go online. Um, but without further ado, let's get going into the ground. Half time, it's 1 1. Salisbury took the first goal. A uh, nice uh, 
pass in from the home side to score that first goal. Bratton will equalise with a simple tap in through Esperit, um, but Bratton are the much better side, so I'm still right, I think, for a 3-1 prediction win for Bratton, but, but yeah, we'll see how the second half goes. Come on, boy! Boots off. <laughs> oh. So it's finished Salisbury 2, Bratnell Town 1. Um, Salisbury grabbing all three points today in what was a rather scrappy game. No teams really deserved of the points. Um, both teams made sloppy mistakes, but Gemma, first of all, you're thoughts on what was a, a kind of a weird game really yeah no there was nothing in between the two teams um and they did good to win um, in all fairness but Bracknell should have made it I think Bracknell should have got another goal to draw it, at least they deserved it but um yeah and I got my prediction right saying so 2-1 and I got mine completely wrong um first half let me just check the goal scorer um their first half goal scorer was Sam Ashton like I said in the half quick half time report um, great little pass and move play, one touch passing from them to score that first goal. Uh, and then Bratton scored quite a simple, simple tap in to make it 1 1 at half time. Also worth mentioning, uh, Simon Grant made a great uh, save in the first half as well. Um, but overall, uh, yes, yeah, the second half they got a goal. Not too sure of the goal scorer's name for Salisbury, but both teams struggled, I think, today, Jim. I think you agree that nobody yeah. really, nobody really had an outstanding. There was nothing in the two teams, no. really. I think, um, is it Abby Sogan? I think he had a. If it was, if it, is it, I think his name's Gary Gary Abby Sogan. If it was him, he had an outstanding game. I think in the uh, at times, but um, but yeah, I think it'd be disappointing for the visitors, but it'd be delight for the the, the hosts, obviously. But Bracknell, um, Bracknell fans and that were saying that <laughs> they might go to Wembley for the FA Cup, so I think they're a bit happy with that. Yeah, it's all, it's all just a bit of fun, isn't it? So let's take a look at the results of today's fixtures in the Southern Premier League. Hamill Town 2, Dorchester Town 1, Harrowborough 1, Northfleet 0. Well, what a game this was. Hartley Whitney 4, Plymouth Parkway 4, Hayes Ned 0, Western Supermare 1. So Western Supermare still remain top of the table, no doubt. 
Hall Town 5, Yate Town 0, uh, Swindon Supermarine 1, Beacons Beaconsfield 1, Tiverton 3, Met Police 2, Shiro City 1, Gosport 0, and finally Winchester City 1, Hendon 1. So what does that do for league standings? Western Supermare, like I said, uh, remain top with six wins, two draws, and still yet to lose so far this league campaign. Two points behind them in second is Chiro City. Uh, Swindon, Ch Chesham, and Hamill make up the playoff spots. Right at the bottom is Plymouth Parkway, um, still yet to register a single win. Um, then you've got Hendon and North Lee above them. But today's result means that Salisbury have gone higher up the table up to sixth position, one point behind the playoff places, while Bracknell dropped down to 11th. So if you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit like down below as it helps the channel and the algorithm massively. And if you want to come and watch these non-league vlogs, don't forget to hit subscribe down below and ring the notification bell to be notified when the latest vlogs go up. Well, Gemma, it's been a, a fun-filled, action-packed two days of football back-to-back. -back. Um, we've had fun, haven't we? But it all yeah, kicks off fun. again next Saturday, Basingstoke Town at Leatherhead, which should be a great game. Um, I might be going to the game Tuesday, I actually haven't decided yet. Um, but until then, we will see. Thank you for watching, and we will see, see you, you next time. time.